Kolkata playing uh, Mumbai. It's always a big encounter when that happens. This, of course, is happening in Chennai. In case you're confused and you've been sleeping under a rock for the last few weeks, they are playing in Chennai because there are no home games this season. That's right, no advantage. So, which is why teams who are not particularly comfortable or particularly have the personnel to play on a particular surface actually now have to perhaps play four or five games. Their point in question join being the Mumbai team and the Chennai surface. Yeah, they, they don't particularly like it. But see, the other thing is given what you know Mumbai does and Mumbai does very well is that they, you know, they're used to losing the first match. I don't think they'll take any hurried decisions. So, it's very yeah. funny. When, when you normally come after a match and there's one team has won a match, one team has lost a match, you expect the team to lose the match to make changes. In this case, you probably expect neither of the team to make too many changes because Mumbai is saying, you know, we lost the first match normal. And given how we play our first matches, this was probably as decent a result as we got. Normally, we sleepwalk through our first match. They were pretty good, actually. They were pretty decent. Yeah. Went down to the wire. Yeah, it did. And, and, and Michael, it just, and I think you only, did you say the other day they were playing at, it almost seemed like they were playing at 75% and the yeah. other team was playing at 100 and they brought the match so close. Yeah, the, I mean, I think that's what all the opposition know against Mumbai, that you've got to bring your 100% game because Mumbai can beat you at 75% of that good a side uh, and you hope that you, you get them at 75, 60% and you play really well and you can beat them. Um, what I've been impressed with, I think we've, we've probably all, all seen the intent with the batting. Yeah. You know, all teams are coming out hard. I think they, they, they know the modern game now. They know they've got to try and get 180, 200. Whether it's because the pitches are fresh and they're better at uh, this early stage of the tournament, we'll have to wait and see. It may get more difficult when we start playing on more used pitches. But uh, the intent of the batting and, and the skill levels and the timing and the, the, the prowess of these players, it, it, it's remarkable what we're seeing. It's almost as if even in the short four games that we've seen, batting has improved from yeah. what we've seen. In the England versus India series, you've got young players that are coming through and players that are established and they're hitting the ball. I mean, that's why I'm saying fielding could be a big difference. That's the one negative that I've seen throughout the four games is I don't think the fielding has been to a high standard. You know, the Punjab team, if, if KL Rool has been honest with his team in that dress room, he says, if we'd have fielded anything like we'd have won by 70 runs tonight. Yeah. You know, we'd have taken our chances. And I think the ball comes harder, it flies, but the team that can field really well, I, I think is going to have a massive advantage because all teams are going to come out flying. They're all going to try and whack it. They're all going to try and get those big scores and you will get chances, but they'll be hard chances. They'll come at you fast. Uh, so get your hands nice and warm, get them ready because uh, the team that fields the best, I, I think over the course of the group stage, you can, could end up winning a couple of games purely by being a better fielding team. Yeah, there's just a lot of sanitizer on that ball because it keeps going into the stands. So, I guess maybe that's what's making it a little slippery. <laughs> slippery sanitizer, is it? Well, uh, Quentin de Kock, that's the good news for Mumbai Indians that uh, Quentin de Kock is out of quarantine. The queue is out of queue. So, uh, are you? is he going to jump the queue and get back into team? He has to, right? I mean, come on. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, yeah. Chris Lane was good, but I mean, he was just keeping the seat warm for Quentin, right? No, no, absolutely. Yeah. I think this is exactly like what Australia used to do in their heyday. You know, in their heyday, Australia, someone, like one guy would get draw, injured, Shane Vaughan would get injured and immediately after that, you know, Stuart McGill would walk in, take 10 wickets in a match and then morning was fit, he'd come back. Similarly, you know, Mark Waugh would get injured, Brad Hodge would come score a double century, Mark Waugh is back in the team. They just back it and I, whatever Christian's done, I don't think they're going to change their game plan. If Quinton Decock is fit, he will walk back into the team. If he's match fit and they feel that he, he's got enough, you know, he's got a good look in the nets and he's looking good, they'll take him straight back. I can't see them making any changes. The only change I'm wondering is, do they turn down and say, you know, give Piyush Shaula a bowl and say, you know, you know KKR, you know the Calcutta team well, you know Chennai conditions very well. Maybe Chahir versus this thing. That's the only one thing I'd think about. You give him a go. Interesting. Michael, your call on uh, Quentin definitely coming in, right? Yeah, also, yeah. I, also, yeah. I'll tell you what doesn't help. Chrislin did get the runs, but you're playing one game, you run out the captain. Come on, you know. Yes, <laughs> 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 you, you don't run out, Rowett. 
He, he may never play again. <laughs> Ever, <laughs> anywhere, not even in his yeah. backyard. <laughs> no, the Indian is they're very powerful. He, he'll, Rowett will be on the call to the uh, the the ACB, making sure in Australia doesn't play the big bash ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Lynn is gone. Oh, that's it. It's over. See, he's it's just going to go and work his property uh, company because he's never going to play cricket again. Without Rowan. There you go. He's got his former employers that uh, his current employers are up against, right? It's the Kolkata team that they're playing. Let's have a look at their team. Uh, they, of course, uh, again played that unapologetic style of attacking cricket in their previous game. And uh, uh, Ewan Morgan's coming off for him. Uh, that's the style of cricket that he likes playing. Are you seeing any changes in this team, Michael? Or is this is this good to go? I, I know Owen Morgan very well and I, I would be amazed if there's a change. I'd be staggered. Hmm. He likes to just get on a roll and he just keeps playing the same team. Uh, unless there's a niggle. Unless there's a niggle to one of his quicks. Uh, Pat Cummins, you know, if he's got a niggle, they might replace him with uh, Lockie Ferguson, but I doubt that. If, if everyone's fit, uh, I'll be staggered if they, they make any changes. Hmm. Joy, you think any changes? No. Anything? No, no, not at this, not at this stage, and especially, you know, the, what are their doubtful players? Their doubtful players are really, you look at Arana, Tripathi, Varun Chakravarti. These are guys you'd say that, you know, Prasad Krishna, if these guys don't do well, too well, they'll be under pressure. All these guys have performed. You do not bring Shaki players like Shaki in for one match and replacing him again with Sunil Narayan. If you have decided to go Narayan versus Shaki on the same pitch, you're going to stay with that experiment. So I can't see any changes. And that's why I see, other than maybe, as I said, Quinton Decock walking in, which was natural, I don't see any changes for either of the teams.